Tuesday's Loose Women Conference. Now, a new study by think tank I, PPR, has revealed that when it comes to looking for husband material, the once popular marrying up or getting hitched to someone of a higher class than yourself is on the way out. The study shows that getting wed within your social class is the current trend, and there's also been a small rise in marrying down to someone of a lower class status than yourself. However, Professor of Psychology and Health, Carrie Cooper, has said that it's not to say that marriage won't work <coughs> between different class backgrounds, but there's an underlying feeling that there might be more conflicts. So what do you think? Do you think that marrying outside your social class, do you think it's, if it's doomed, do you think it's doomed? Doomed! <laughs> well, doomed. Doomed, I don't know. We're all doomed. We're all doomed. Well, I have to marry up. Because <laughs> everyone's taller than me. I'm, it'd be a bit tricky to marry down. <laughs> um, unless it was Lester Piggott or someone. Because I think it's an, interesting, it's an interesting idea because, you know, I've, I've talked on the show about my mum being quite an aspirational sure. woman and wanting me to make, you know, a good life for myself. And so she always wanted me to marry up preferably somebody royal, uh, which is a bit tricky when you grow up on a council estate of the elephant and castle. But, uh, but I did, it's really weird, because going to stage school and then you go into show business and you get to mix in different circles and you get exposed to different classes and, and you get a bit of a buzz out of fitting in everywhere you go. Yeah. And I got a real sort of sense of a, achievement out of that. But the older I've got, the more I've gone back, the more comfortable I am. Mm. Right. Like, you know, when, when my nan was alive, I would think my idea of heaven would be to go around the pub on a Sunday lunchtime and have a sing you know, play the piano and be surrounded by all my people that I grew up with. Mm -hmm. And and I spent... I wish I knew this earlier, cos I spent most of my life trying to get away from it. Right. But in actual fact, there's nothing wrong with it. It was the best thing ever, and I should have realised that a lot earlier on. Um, I've never never gone out with anyone for ma money or anything like that. Yeah. It's usually been... If I've picked a boyfriend for a calculated reason, it's usually been to enable me to pursue my career, someone that would allow me to be myself. But I think mm. you're on a hide into nothing if you look for a man to give you a certain lifestyle style, you'll end up miserable, I think. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, I, mm. well I, I see, the thing with me is, I turned down Prince William. <laughs> <laughs> he was gutted. Yeah. He was absolutely gutted. Because he was seeing me. He was, well, yeah. <laughs> two time. Uh, two time. No, do you know what? People should just marry for love, not for money, not for anything else other than just the fact that you... You know, you, you can marry somebody with loads of money, you can marry somebody with no money. It doesn't matter as long as you're balanced and you're with that person and they make you feel good, you make them feel good, you have your ups and your downs and you, you support each other. That's what it's about. It's not about whether they're higher class or lower class than you or, you know... Mm. A lot of people do, do though, don't they, marry well, for money? Yeah, Saying yeah. that, you know, when money's gone, so is love. <laughs> Let's be honest. When you're skinned, my God, love goes out the window. <laughs> does it? Yeah. Oh, well, it is, it, no, it is true. Yeah. It, 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 if you can rally together while times are really, really hard, then you know you've got something absolutely solid. And that's uh, whether you're mm. starting out w yeah. with nothing or you've lost yeah. it all and you, yeah. have, and you have to start again. And that gets right back to the basics again, doesn't it, yeah, Shows whether you love so. each other. Keep it in perspective, though, because some of the worst things that can happen to you in your life aren't about being skinned. I mean, help the, I mean it's an old saying, but if you haven't got your health, yeah. then, you know, that's yeah. much more important than, than money. It must have been quite difficult for you, though, because, I mean, the press must have had a field there with you, did they? Um, well, I think they did. I mean, they sort of, you know, there were, there were a few fibs, like they do tell, you know, apparently I was married to a goat herder. But... Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, not wrong with that. No. <laughs> Goat's milk, very nice, but not in my household. <laughs> not in my household. <laughs> um, the, the thing is, was you know... Was he high on a hill? High on a hill? <laughs> no, he wasn't he high on anything, to be no. honest. <laughs> Only me. Yeah. Yes. Do you know what? I mean, it, it, you just have to. At the end of the day, you just have to go with the flow. I mean, culturally over there, you know, again, it's there's no sort of thing about um, whether you've got loads of money or haven't. You know, it's just it's it's for love. It's you very know. family orientated. It's very family. It's very kind of you know. Nobody worries about our age difference. Nobody worries about anything over there because they know that it, it's all about our hearts and what we believe and our faith and everything like that. And it's like that's Sorry, all that matters. Well, that's remind us again where he's from. He's from Morocco. Morocco. Isn't he? How old is he again? And you're old. Oh. <laughs> She's trying to lick it. <laughs> She's trying to lick it. That one. What does he do then? He's not a goat herder. What no. Does, what does he do? <laughs> um, he does all sorts of things. Does he? No, he doesn't. He man of many talents. He's a man of many talents. No, but he, 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 him and his family have they have a sort of a, a, a business in um, jewellery and things like that. So oh. you know, so that's oh, a proper right. job. That's well, kind of, you know. <laughs> yeah. A bit on the ocky on the side. Do you know what I mean? A bit like that. I must admit, I don't think you can buy class. Mm. I just don't. No, think. I right. think you're born with it. Whether mm. you're working class, middle class. You know, yeah. I, and I think, 
I have met some very, <laughs> very wealthy people who have been the most rude, crass, obnoxious people mm. in, in my entire life, and they know who they are. And uh, <laughs> saying that, there's that in working class as well. So, I mean, yeah. I, I think it's all about... The... But saying that, I, I did marry out of my class, and I, I felt very uncomfortable because... What you have to remember is when you do get married, you have to take into consideration that you marry the family as well. Hmm. And no matter what, you, you, I was a fish out of water in that. He more adapted to my family, but I found it very difficult to adapt to that level. OK. You know, but um, I always took... Um, there's always a saying that I've always lived by. I didn't ever want to marry the doctor. I wanted to be the doctor. Yeah. So, and I think that's it. If you're and independent, now you're Dr. Love. Dr. Love. Oh. But if you're independent, you should do it, the you pie marry. test. You should get them to name every single pie. <laughs> they can name pies the way you can. They're in. Hey, but, <laughs> uh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Okay, it is time to put the pause button on proceedings, but uh, we'll be back soon with today's very special guests. They are Matt Lucas and Amy Child. Hello. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> We'll be giving plenty of love to the always adorable Matt Lucas! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right back at you. Uh, but first, the thrones of celebrity glamour pusses such as Katie Price and Jodie Marsh seemed unshakable for a long time. That was until our first guest exploded onto the celebrity scene, successfully toppling me on them uh, from their pedestals. <laughs> In the public affection stakes, the reality star, entrepreneur, model and all-round nice girl has now turned her hand to uh, helping us get fit. Here to tell us more, please welcome Amy Child. <laughs> A dolly. Uh, it's so lovely to be back. It's, it's lovely nice to have you back. Yeah, I you don't want to sit in this seat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and how are you? Are, are you? are you well? I'm very well, thank you. I'm very busy. You know, the DVD is doing really work. Come out today, so. Ah. Yeah. So does this mean that we're going to look like you? If we if we do a bit of that, you never will know. we look like you? Um, it's fit in 30 days. Literally, we do a, um, 100 repetitions. We break it down 40, 30, 20, 10. Um, literally, lunges, press-ups. Oh, a, a bit in 2010, a bit in 2011. No, a bit in 2011. <laughs> <laughs> a bit in there. I'll have a bit in there. <laughs> what we do, we do 30, so we do like 40, 40 lunges. Have a 45 second break, yeah. then 30. So you're like breaking oh, it down. Right. And for me, if someone, if, if someone said to you, you've got to do 100 repetitions, you'd go, I can't do it. No, it's a lot. Isn't but it? it's when you break it down, so much better. And literally, when I first did it, I was like, I can't do it, I can't do it. I trained so much, and after that, do, do you Especially. see that you're struggling on, on the DVD? Because it can be really yeah. annoying sometimes. <laughs> when you're watching it and the person's all immaculate, do you want to see a bit of Angela, sweat? literally, I am really struggling in it. I'm literally doing it. And that's what I wanted to get across to people, that I just don't... I don't I'm struggling doing it. I'm not like, oh, my God, this is amazing, I can do this. It's not like that. It's, yeah. I'm, I am really I struggling. How old are you? 21. So you're 21, so people think you've got bags of energy anyway, so mm. it's not going to be as much of a struggle yeah. for you as, say, for me, or, you know... Yeah, but no, if I can do it, anyone can do it. I've said this to Mum, you know, Mum's like, oh, I can't work out. I said, Mum, if you do it, you know you're smashing. Have you always been? In, have you always been into fitness, Amy? I have. Yeah, I have. Literally, before I did the only way aesthetics, I used to work at a gym, uh -huh. and I used to work at a beautician's. And next door was actually the gym, so it was like I finished work. It was like I've got to go to the gym. So I've always actually been into my fitness. So I, I, I read something about, and you said I've got rid of my bingo wings. I don't think you've ever seen a bingo no. wing in your life. <laughs> <laughs> I had, I had a little bit, I had a little bit, but no, literally, I worked about two weeks on my arms for the fitness, and literally, my arms, literally, in two weeks, I noticed a difference straight away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you could do it, we'll do it together. I'll tell you what, you've warned me out just talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've not been. Do you know what? You're, you're absolutely right. I think if you're into that kind of thing, yeah. then that's great. I've got, you know, I mean, I, I do, I, I, would, I would look at it, I'd have a go for a week. <laughs> No. And then I'd prop my table up underneath with it. Not purely, be not only because my table's wobbly, and then I have to get it out again when I've put on a few more pads. Like, that's what I do with it. So. Do you know, it's, okay. it's, it's really enjoyable as well. Like, I didn't want it to be like really, it is really hard, it is very difficult, and it does, the workouts yeah, do get sure. harder. 
but I do enjoy it. I have a bit of banter well. in there. Drew, um, my um, fitness um, fitness with me, he literally is brilliant, and we do it together, and we work really well as a team. Good. And um, yeah, but what would you wait. think? So we were talking earlier about our boyfriends and husbands getting a little bit chub. And would we say anything? What would you if you're if you were going out with someone and they started to get a bit chubby? What would you mind? Or? I would tell him straight away. Would you? Yeah, definitely. What would you say? Do you know what though? I, I said this before. I was talking to Matt. I said um, like you know you want to look like really like I would always look try and look perfect. You know, so my boyfriend should look perfect as well. Right. Because I'm really as I said I'm really into my fitness. You bet. That's me. So, so you can fancy type. someone sorry, that yeah. was a little sorry that was a little bit on the chub side. No, I go for personality. <laughs> I do go personality, I go for banter, but I would tell them if they started getting a bit comfortable porky, with me. Bit porky. Porky. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to say anything you too can't bad. Use the words around me, Amy. <laughs> no. <laughs> you are lovely, honey. You are lovely. <laughs> No, I, I, I admire, I, seriously, I admire, actually, I do admire her. Do you know what I mean? You've got to put your hands together. She's very uh, clever at what she's doing and what uh, she's done. And I'll, I'll give you that. Because you know, I go thorough quite a lot, because I know that's on it. Like side? I do, because I'm across the bridge. I'm yeah. half away. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. uh, so I go across the thorough. Can I see all these people? And I just think to myself, there is a kind of type, isn't there? And the people, I think from, not, not type, but they sort of dress up and they're making themselves immaculate now. And I, I sort of see that. And they, do you think there's a pressure to kind of... Like, keep to that standard and marry like that. And do you think that programmes think, like TOWIE have kind of yeah, done that I think a little in bit Essex, as well? I think everyone's been glamorous anyway, like, always. All the yeah. girls in TOWIE, you know, you've got Mark Wright, you've, yeah, we've yeah. always been very glamorous, you yeah. know, Joey Essex, we've always been... Well, you know, I've always yeah. been like it anyway, so I don't, you know... No, I'm, I'm, yeah. Well, I do think, you think it's quite a useful? Because you, you look amazing. There's no yeah. question about that. You just look absolutely stunning, and but you smell always, gorgeous. But, but as well. I've always, I've, I've always been like this. You know, people say, you know, when you go on this, you go on Tower and your life changes. But I've always been like this anyway. Like I was a beautician yeah. before. Do you have on. aspirations, though? We were talking as well about finding, marrying up, m marrying someone in a do different social class. Is that something you're interested in, or, or do you kind of stick to your own and? No, I, I've literally, you know, I've been out of guys, not just in the public eye, they've been like, you know, just normal, you know, they've had a normal job. You know, my ex-boyfriend, you know, my ex-boyfriend -boy Joe, he literally was a stockbroker, I was in doing TOWIE, Big Brother. We were had such different lives, but... Stockbroker? Is that a normal job? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was my... My dad, you've got to think that, my dad is a market trader. My dad's a market oh, trader. Well. My dad's a market trader. Yeah, my mum's a hairdresser. Yeah. Um, so... No, it's, it's I mean, uh, as Cheryl said, hats off to you, girl, yeah, because yeah, yeah. you've taken that ball yeah. and you've run with it. And, and, yeah. and obviously, yeah. you've, 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 as, as Jane was saying, you know, you, you've, you've left Towie, you had your, your own series, you've got your, your, your salon and obviously your clothing range yeah, and, and yeah. everything else. Is it going as you expected or is it absolutely taken off? Andrew, I can't believe it. I'm shocked that it, it's done so well. And, you know, mm. my website is, you know, it crashed a little while ago. And, you know, the salon, I get queues of girls getting the salon buying all my stuff. And it's, um, I pinch myself, you know, me and mm. my Family. We're still really normal people, yeah. and I pinch myself every day to think that yeah. I can't believe this has happened to me. Mm. A normal girl from Essex, you know, doing well for themselves. And, and you're hard working. I mean, yeah, you don't you're stop. Do you? I don't, I don't stop. Yeah. I've just come back from Dubai. I've just shot my 2013 calendar, and like this week, I'm literally in meetings. Yeah, I you're going to do that next time. I'm doing that. Yeah. <laughs> can you give me some advice tips? Can you make some clothes a bit bigger than I can put my arm in? Brilliant, seriously. Look, well we, done. Look, if well I can done. do it, that's what I say. If I can do it, anyone I'll can give do it. I'll give it a whirl. I'll I'll give it a whirl. We'll do it together, yeah. love. Have you got any nice personal trainers on there? Yeah. Wacky, yeah. I'll have a go. <laughs> oh, you, you're married. <laughs> yeah. Pack it in. All right. Amy, it's lovely right. as ever. Thank you very much for having me. Amy Child. Yeah. Well. <laughs>